humans and others, this is Temple Vagabond, and I'm recording in a completely different setup. And this sounds weird to me. <laughs> so, a little bit of a background before I address the obvious here. Um, it's been a while. Uh, uh, mostly because I moved. Shh. Also, I have had to transfer all of my stuff to another computer and get a whole new setup and download all my shit again. <laughs> so, I'm kind of starting from scratch here. And because of that, there's going to be some changes on the channel. Not that it's going to be too much of a problem, because I was kind of just starting out anyway. <clears throat> but I am not going to be able to do Minecraft Mondays for a while, because Minecraft uh, kind of sucks on my current computer, to the point where like it's not even worth watching me play it. The lag is just so bad when I have my uh, audio and visual recording going at the same time on this one computer. Because before I had two computers to work with, and now I only have one, so everything is just piled on top of it. But of the two computers, I have the better one available. I just had to transfer some files over. You may notice a distinctive lack of fan rumbling in the background, which indicates that I'm not using the crap one right now. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, I will be getting back to Flash Games Friday, hopefully, because that was kind of one of my favorite things to do. And also it's just really fun on a Friday when you're done with stuff to sit down and just play a really stupid Flash game for fun for about half an hour. So I'll be doing that. But, right now, and what is probably blatantly obvious, is that I am going to be playing the Back to the Future game, which <laughs> came out like five years ago. <laughs> but it's almost the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, so I figured, what a better time than to play... Honestly, Back to the Future is like my favorite movie series. I love it so much. To the point where like some people complain about the second and third movie, I just, I can't. I love it. I love it all. It's all fantastic. So I'm so excited about doing this. This is great, <laughs> and I'm unbelievably happy that this is working on this computer right now, so. Go flex capacitor. Can I cover it up? No, I can't. So, without further ado, I think... <laughs> it's the DeLorean noise. Uh, yeah. I want to know what I'm supposed to do. And we're back. Had a little bit of an issue there. Sorry. Shh. All right, I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh! Good it's evening. that scene. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot Holy at Twin shit. Pines Mall. It's a Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Yes. Come on, Ivy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. Oh my God! I love this. Get down. I've seen them as like animated characters. On. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Have I a really good don't trip, want to Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Oh, yes. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. So the, the voice actor of Marty in this, I've heard, is not actually Michael J. Fox. Because I don't really know if he could sit in the sound booth for that Not one, me. Actually. The car, the car. but um, I know he does voice something later on, I think he voices like a, a relative or something. They're always running into their relatives. But um, this is, this, this Marty is voiced by um, my calculations are correct. Basically some kid they found who sounds a lot like Michael J. Fox when You're he was see speaking. some serious shit. <laughs> it's kind of great. He has a very good impersonation of him. But, um, Doc is played by a Shoo! Oh my god, I'm in! Alright, so this is the actual line. I'm just gonna go with it, because I love it. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Nice. Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure above I do Einstein wonder, though, why we're jumping in here. Attacked. Are we just playing through, like, the. Where the hell are they? The appropriate the question is. Because I thought this was going to be a new story. You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at <laughs> precisely to go with it's just, it's so and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. 
Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Marty McFly asking the right questions. Hey, I see. If you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! What? 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 What the fuck? Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, uh, where's the Are car, we playing Doc? Back to the Future without the time Should machine? Because it's kind of a problem. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just <laughs> back a minor to the miscalibration of the time circuit. Search for Einstein. Why, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. I'm moving. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna make him wander around uselessly a little bit. Man, they even got- they got like the walk? They must have done some serious studying here. Okay. Let's just- let's throw some plutonium at the problem. What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! But, uh, plutonium? JC Penny. <laughs> How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Sarcastic eyebrow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, shh. Go away. I got it. Is there no way to make this box go away? Okay, I guess not. Notebook. Notebook. Got it! Flux Science. capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! You know, Doc seems awfully excited for a guy who's just lost his dog. three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Is that foreshadowing? Let's see. It's mass equals high times C and uh, yeah, E equals yeah, to square. This isn't the way it happened. Something's way off here. Also, the Libyans are about to shop, so... Uh, Doc? Okay... I'm intense- oh god, what are they doing? No! No! Did we accidentally Please send Aini back to the 50s? <laughs> Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible Crash mistake. into the barn or something? Wait, what the- Oh crap, oh Stop. crap! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Oh my god. Doc, come back! Doc! Shit, okay. I'm so confused. Doc! Oh my god, it was just a dream. Are you kidding me right now? Marty? <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Right. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! Wait for what? <laughs> Title sequence. All right. <laughs> He's got his jewels burned there. Yeah. Oh, this is so great. I've been a fan of Back to the Future, like, since I was old enough to understand Back to the Future. <laughs> and even then I didn't really get it, you know? <laughs> but it was still great. Hey, it's fixed! Did he actually, like, bother to repair the amp? Did Doc- Doc didn't have time to repair the amp. He didn't come back. 
Oh, yeah, um... He didn't come back, so, uh... Dad! Are we too late to stop the... sale? Shit. Better late than never. You I'm wouldn't believe stuff, huh? how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset. But your take friend's been gone for water, months, and the city down. really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? That's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! <laughs> oh, great. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Jeez. Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. The smell. Uh, I get to explore the lab. Oh, this is great. Okay, okay, I'm gonna click on everything. Um, uh, clocks. Oh, just clocks. Okay. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Cause he just left. He didn't, like, come back. Take any of his stuff. It's all just here. What's the dog feeder? Hey, let me- Now, Biff. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Yeah, oh, sure. Biff. Sorry, Marty. Look at me. All the hormones and shit. They did a really good reproduction here. I mean, they do do a, a pretty close, like, pan over this entire table in um, the first movie. So I guess they have a lot to go off of. Whoa, Marty. Don't turn around, buddy. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird <laughs> taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. TV. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene <laughs> to prevent your own conception? Is that for Carl example? Sagan? Nice. Apparently, uh, no. Nature does not contrive it. More clocks! Jennifer'd like that. She's into old stuff. Why'd you never take her to the past, though? You just took her to the future and then immediately knocked her out. I don't want to talk to your dad. What? Yeah, okay, so explain this to me. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. You repaired it? Did you, like, go to his house when he wasn't here and fix the thing before he came back. <laughs> hey, shh, shh. I'm getting there. I see it back there. Don't have to freaking poke me. I'm guessing that's like the trigger for something here. Let's make some noise. Heck yeah. But I do I have a guitar? <laughs> Kinda need that. <laughs> Learned his lesson from him. Mm, there isn't much story so far. Story so far. Marty woke up. Okay, let's go back this way. Fine, I'll put on the stupid model. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. Jeez. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that uh, looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the Biff, old fool. He was good with his hands. Biff, just uh, fuck off. Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. No, but I like you. Give the old cop something new to nibble on. Uh, mind if I look can at I it? Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Don't be so blunt. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was really bad. That was a joke. Was really oh, ha. But really, can I? <laughs> No, I think I'll hold on to it. Nice Give it one. here, Biff. Oh, well, great. well, look at what we have here. Why do you put Looks it like there? Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? <laughs> it's it's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Uh, I don't want... I don't want the hints. 
did you hide all your other notes in other buildings? Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, what's all this? Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. <laughs> he asks after. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Yeah. But I guess like a year? I think this is... Didn't it say it was 1986? Oh. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. Well, that smells like beef stew. <laughs> crazy indeed. Just put Mike there. Um, he just has a jukebox. He hey, stopped to pay for it. Let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I can get George to make Biff give me the thing. Uh... Hey, it's my guitar! Why are you selling that? That's mine. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mm. Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Yeah, Dad. Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Sweet. Wait, wait, where did I put it? Where is it? Marty? Marty? What? Alright, alright, so it's in my my magical inventory. Yeah. So I got a picture of him. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. <laughs> I really hope he took this picture out while he's standing there next to his dad and was like, I keep this to remind me that even my, my loser of a father could do something right. <laughs> Examine the guitar. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's stored it in his magical super space pants, I guess. <laughs> oh god. Alright. So, this is one of those games where you just have a magical inventory of, like, infinite space. Biff. Hey, Biff. Biff, give me shit back. Uh, um. He's probably not gonna care that it's dangerous. That's kind of a lame argument. <clears throat> it's worth nothing, give it to me. Uh, probably doesn't care. Oh god, he'd get offended by that. Yeah, probably the only way to speak to Biff. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. Oh, shut up. Okay, um... Alright, not that again. It's... I'll just go with the link. Just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing! And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Why why do you have to have <sighs> Like Biff is unintelligent, but he has like the baseline intelligence that's annoying. Like he's unintelligent enough that you hate him. <laughs> but he also has like enough intelligence to realize when you're conning him, which is so annoying. Uh uh. I only want that notebook because well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on! Okay, he doesn't care. Um, it's dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. This is true. What, is it set to explode or something? Yeah. Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. <sighs> he won't get it. That notebook wouldn't mean anything rude to now. wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Yes. Alright, fine. Uh, never mind. Original plan? Make Dad do it for me. <laughs> Dad! Biff's an asshole. Hey, Dad. Um... <laughs> I had a dream. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Doesn't go in for that mystical stuff, but he still believes an alien told him that he needed to marry Lorraine. Uh, let's see. 
Doc's alive. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely what? voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Oh, shut up. You wouldn't do that. Yeah, you got Doc wrong. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. Yes. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, True. you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Is it? Maybe you should try to is find thing? some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Is he really that in debt? Okay. Uh. Yeah. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. Hey. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Okay, yeah. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! <laughs> Alright, okay. That's good. Uh, I need to protect Doc's that notebook. notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? Uh, you can't uh, have it both ways, come Marty. Back? If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. What is that hand gesture you keep doing, George? It's like claw. It's like grab. Uh, About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. <laughs> oh, I guess you that can. That was a look. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Alright, so... I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so his dad's no longer gonna step in, which I guess means if I use the jukebox, maybe Biff will put down the courthouse and sit in front of the jukebox. Alright, let's just try this. Wait, I got one! Ugh, he didn't put it down this time. Ah, but he's got good taste, it's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Grab the fire extinguisher, bat Biff over the head with it. Okay, so we've got the amp, we've got a guitar. It's just. Yeah, I got it. I get you. Hints. Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, Pass. look! It's Chuck Butthead! Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so lame. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Yes, go ahead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Yeah, whatever really. you say. Oh, stop trying to look cool. You're wearing a tracksuit. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm a guitar back now. Yeah, oh, and also the notebook. <laughs> uh, Doc, where are Bulletproof you? Bulletproof vest on his to-do list. Oh shit! That didn't sound like the time trap. What? Okay, okay. Okay. What? This one was destroyed. There isn't a DeLorean anymore. It was destroyed. It was like, run through. <laughs> I don't want to open it yet. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Is it Doc? Okay, so 
This isn't the one from the last movie, though. It doesn't have, like, the box on front that had all the uh, controls and stuff they had to rig up. And it doesn't even have the um, white wall tires. That's right. It's still got the flying ones. It's like the one from the second movie, because it's got the nuclear reactor on the back, too. Okay, I'll bite. Who goes <laughs> there? God, the shadows are bad on this. I'm gonna have to fiddle with the settings. Okay. Should have learned that it gets cold by now, I swear. It's Einstein! Tiny. Where do you come from, boy? Uh, didn't you bring Doc with you? Dream? Did No, but it's got it's got the timer, it's got the nuclear device, so it's not the one It's not like it just came out of the dream or something. That would be kind of a crazy plot line anyway. It's so cool looking. There's a shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? Automatic retrieval? <laughs> in case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Shoot. Or, uh, okay. Later. He's in trouble. So he's saying he's like trapped. Come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or forward. Well, this is smart. So he set up like a failsafe. But it doesn't explain how he got the DeLorean. Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time certain readout under the heading mark "Last Time Departed." Good Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Huh? Oh, jeez. Come on. That's come on. Convenient. Come on. Jeez. Really? Crap. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Uh, guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Is there anything else? No? Okay. Get now the car. Um. I'm pretty sure I know what my current goal is. Just. Okay, what do I got? What do I got? I've got that. <laughs> Did I just make him like scream over there? <laughs> okay, this shoe. Mysterious shoe. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Alright, um. Okay. Have a shoe. I, I at the nah. door. <laughs> nah. Um, let's give the shoe to Einstein. Maybe you can sniff it. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Yes. Great Scott! I think he's onto something. <laughs> nice use of your partner's catchphrase. Huh? Yeah. See, the the entire purpose of dogs in video games is to sniff stuff and point you in the right direction. This super cool. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. E. Yeah. All right, so I'm at a place. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Ainy? Don't ask the dog that. He got you here. All right. Who's <laughs> looking out for you? Oh, hope on it. That's it. I'm getting a job and an arcade. It's obviously what Einstein wants me to do. Let's see. Kick on the buzzer. Strickland. Oh no. <laughs> No. Step away from the door. Wait. Now, Who the hell are you? Let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Cool again. Get along. 
up now. Yeah. Hey, shush, lady. I'm no hooligan. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. <clears throat> Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through town square <laughs> every morning yeah. between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah. All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Alright, let's see. E. Strickland. Who aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes. Uh, what's no. old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Hmm. Yeah, I probably don't want to mention the dog. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Um, shoe, I guess. A shoe? Wow! Now what would I want with a? Huh? <gasps> Stay there. Okay. Stay here. Oh, okay. Why would she have kept the other shoe? <laughs> Sorry, I look awkward. Leave that creature outside! Oh, shut up. Sorry, Einstein. Einstein's very intelligent, okay? Well, took you long enough. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I oh. mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Alright. Mm, much better. She's not so even gonna ask questions about that? Orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. Well, that's a perfectly but adequate I'm reward sorry for the shoe I just got five minutes ago. Again. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. <laughs> she didn't turn it on. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Okay. I'm sunny now, aren't I? Alright. Hey! You Literally kid! can't sit anywhere. Put out those cigarettes! Well, that seems like a pretty good stopping spot. Looks like the next thing I'm gonna have to do is talk to. Yeah. Uh, so, for now, um, this is the end of part one of Back to the Future. Marty's looking decidedly awkward. And he has antenna coming out of his head. <laughs> nice look, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to make these episodes just about 30 minutes long, keep them nice. And according to the website, this game plays a couple hours per episode. There's five episodes. So I will play through all of it and I'll release them relatively quickly. I'm going to be recording these whenever I have spare time, which will be pretty frequently. Uh, just kind of to make up for like the lost schedule. You know. So anyway, thank you so much, and see ya! You know it's been a while when you have to remember your own intro.